Hey guys, what is going on? This is Tanner from TanManBaseballFan.com. I uh, put some work in on my website earlier today, and the reason why is because I wanted to showcase the Canseco doubles that I have for trade. I will probably, maybe, possibly sell some of them, but the main reason for me to post them is so that way uh, I can trade for other Canseco cards I don't have. So, um, I hate the lists. Yeah, I know a lot of people online have like this uh, unending document of just text that, you know, scrolls on forever and ever and talks about the cards and, you know, your eyes kind of glaze over. So uh, I wanted to show this in pictures. So I'm going to go to uh, my website here. This is TanManBaseballFan.com, of course. I'm going to go over to Cards for Trade. And I'll kind of show you what I have just to kind of, you know, do a, run, a rundown. So currently there are 66 cards and these are the better ones, I guess you could say of uh, what I have available for trade. So I'll, I'll go through some of them just to kind of show you. Uh, to start off, we've got a 1986 Donner's Rookie. It's a very sharp autograph. Uh, and, you know, I mean, gosh, it's, you know, a landmark card with uh, with his signature. So obviously that's awesome. Uh, A6 Fleer, an autograph as well. And then, of course, his uh, the iconic 1986 star yellow set. Now, the majority of these... Uh, I'm sorry, the majority of the set is is signed. So there's probably 15 cards, and I think I gave one of them away uh, to somebody so, uh, from Twitter. So there's probably about 14 of them here. You go through all these, and very nice signatures. Uh, except for this one here. This is actually something that was issued inside of the star, uh, the star set. So it came this way sealed uh, from the factory. And numbered so it's signed in green and it's numbered so that's kind of cool uh going forward this is a four by six porcelain this is a a6 tops traded rookie autograph in person so a 1988 opichi blank back those are very rare they're hard to come by so i thought that was kind of neat uh this is a an 88 score young super superstars autograph uh, this is actually picked up from somebody who was very close uh, with Canseco, um, there's a couple of these blank back promo star cards. So some of them are easy to get, and some of them are very difficult to get. And don't mind the uh, the off cut part; it's actually not really, you know. So there it is, right there. Uh, also, this uh, oddball it says Joe Canseco, where they tried to Americanize him. So that's pretty great. Uh, 1990 Fleer with turquoise border. Uh, actually traded for. Uh, one of these and somebody gave me one of them for my own collection. They were the only two that I've ever seen and somebody online said, Hey Tanner, I will send this to you. And I said, Oh man, thanks. I appreciate it. I'd love to pick up both of them. And uh, so he allowed me to be able to get both of them from him. So I don't need two of them. I just, I just want one of them. So uh, here's a miscut 1990 Fleer league standout. So I had a sheet of these and I did an oversized cut and I also did a, uh, miscut here. I love the miscuts. I think they're great. Um, also going forward, this was in a magazine, I believe, if I remember correctly. This is an oversized cut proof of it. It's got the foil border. And this is the uh, oversized proof of it without any foil. Then here's a 91 Stadium Club. Uh, it is a uh, matte version that's got no foil and on the, on the back there's a little bit of an indentation I think right here maybe or maybe here on the back it doesn't really show through on the front though so yeah I still think it's definitely passable a couple more autographs um, this one right here it does have some corner issues uh, and it's a four by six but I think it's four by six uh, something like that four by six or three by five um so you can you can tell a little bit there so there's i think a couple corners have some issues but it's a beautiful card um this here is a, a sports report it's got no foil i'll show you the uh on my site uh for my collection how many versions there are of this so normally you have the gold foil and then there's my version of the of the no foil proof and then of course you have the other type of foil, whatever this is. It's a silver hollow foil, I guess is what it's called. So uh, anyways, um, got a refractor. You have a vertical oversized proof. So this is quite a bit bigger. Uh, it still fits in the top loader, but it's bigger uh, than a regular size one. So it's, it was never pack issued. 
And then this here, uh, this actually looks like it missed most of the foil that was put on it. So the outline of silver is shown just a little bit, but it's kind of a cool little, little deal there. PSA 10, uh, in my opinion, one of the greatest refractors they made in the 90s of Kaseko, uh, the Gold Intimidators. And it's a refractor PSA 10. So gotta love that. And then gold proof. And then we're going to get into some more refractors. A mirror blue, which obviously can't go wrong with that. Beautiful card. Uh, autograph. This is an ultra, ultra hard card to get. The uh, Fleer Ultra uh, Platinum Medallion. And then there's an oversized proof. There's a jersey card, jersey autograph. This is a magazine cut. And this is very, you know, you don't really see this ever anywhere. So it's a, it's a little bit smaller than a normal card. Uh, and uh, it's actually out of uh, the magazine paper stock, so it's a but it's a cool card. It's a it's from the 2001 Beckett uh, trade and update set that they never even made cards out of. They just you know put them in the magazine uh, pages. So uh, let's see inserts, chrome autograph, jersey autograph. This one's hard. Also, it's numbered to 33. Anything that low from uh, that long ago is going to be very difficult to get your hands on. It's a beautiful card. Uh, and then of course we have another bat card reverse negative. This is a difficult card to get your hands on as well. Uh, and it's kind of a play off of the 1989, I'm sorry, 1989 upper deck Dale Murphy reverse negative. So upper deck did for the 2002 UD authentics card or a set. I think everybody had a reverse negative short print version of it. So anyways, obviously Jose is right hander. It shows him as a lefty and this is a gorgeous card here. The back has some issues of chipping uh, of the corners. And I think three or four of the corners. I'm not sure which one. Um, but on the back, uh, you can. it's definitely noticeable. But the front shows beautifully. And it's very hard to come by card. It's number 25. And then you have a signature card, stars card. This is number 160. This is also a very hard card to, to get for some reason. And a little known fact also from this is that this is actually a picture of Ozzy. So they got a wrong picture. They got the picture wrong there. So uh, Leaf, 2012 Legend of Sport. Uh, this is 2015 National Treasures, treasure material. It's uh, number to 10. It's got a great patch, a beautiful signature. Um, and then Atomic Refractor. This is, a, this is a great card here I was able to run into. So... 2016 Tops Archive signature series number to 15 signature. This is, you know, if you're going to get a, a buyback from Tops for the Archive signature series, obviously this is the one to get because it was his rookie. So fantastic card there. There's a tech autograph. And then this, I love this. This is a 2017 Tops uh, 65th Transcendent Party buyback. And you had to go to the, to the party. Uh, for their 65th anniversary to, to pick this up. It's numbered to five and it's got a great autograph on it. So uh, last but not least is this uh, 93 Tops buyback from 2017. It's gold. So it's, it's a, one of the rarer ones. So um, that is all. If you have anything to trade, um, I would love to hear. Uh, of course, if you have any rare Consecos at all, please let me know. Uh, I would love to have the chance of trading for them or buying them from you. So if I need them. So anyway, uh, again, this is Tanner from TanManBaseballFan.com as well as CansecoCollector.com. Thanks for watching.